Alright guys, before I start, just a quick just some quick info real quick. <laughs> What's that even mean? Just some quick info. Uh additional info. Additional info on the game. Um <coughs> I checked online and I, I I did actually try this mission. I collected eighteen of them. Couldn't find any more coins. But what happens is once you collect 18 coins in a mission then I think the mission ends or I think it continues and you have to collect I think yeah, I think it continues or something they said it's like once you collect 20 coins you unlock a second part to the mission which is collecting 20 stars and the stars are in the exact places that the coins were in <laughs> But from what I've read on Game Facts, you don't get any. Um, they don't really help you get. Uh, like, you don't really unlock any special copters or helicopters or anything like that. That's what it says on Game Facts, and maybe they just mean it for certain levels. Maybe some levels you do. You do unlock a special helicopter, or maybe not. But from what I've gathered by reading <coughs> the Game Facts message board. Um, they're just basically there for you to um for you to earn extra money. So I'm guessing you unlock all the special helicopters by just playing the game and, and completing levels. If, it, if it's way beyond that, I don't I don't know it. I couldn't find it. <coughs> and a lot of people on GameFAQs, they seem to have beat beat the game. So, some of them said they have. This one guy said he beat it. He said he beat it in one. Excuse me, in, in one night. Or two nights or something like that. So, that's a good thing. So, yeah, I will not be recording or playing those uh, special uh, treasure missions. Another thing to note if you do want to play those special missions. Let's say you're you're playing a treasure mission, and you got like ten coins, and you just give up, or you, not give up. If you collect a certain amount of coins, like if you if you don't collect all the coins in the treasure mission, but you go to the exit, you keep those coins. So when you go back to the level, you don't have to search for all twenty again. So that's the bonus. If you like the idea of you know, treasure hunting, or whatever. Yeah, this mission was really annoying when I first... This whole area was really annoying when I first tried it. Man, for one, I, did, I don't have the manual, and for two, I, did, I didn't read it. I mean... I didn't read the controls very well, I don't think. But, uh... Learning how to hover will save you from your life in this mission. You move really slow, but it's worth it. And you do that by holding the, the one button on the control. If, if you're playing with the controller horizontal, you do that by holding the one button. And that keeps you from uh, gaining any altitude. You basically just keep your level. Basically your current uh, height level. And if you release one, you uh, you lose some altitude. That's right there. The only thing is you move really slow in this mode. I'm sorry, so where's that other thing? Um, I believe there's a few over here. Yeah, how the really comes in handy for like these tight areas right here.
And it's weird because as you unlock better helicopters and, and or mini helicopters, whatever, and better parts, <coughs> it makes the game it makes control of helicopters not too bad. But also, once you get used to the controls, like once you get used to the controls, to find a control scheme that's that works for you, it almost doesn't matter. It helps a lot, but it doesn't matter too too much. And the helicopter I'm using is called a power type helicopter. I have a speed helicopter as well, but I don't really use that too much. Be right back.